What happened to Papa? Hey, go and call your uncle. Your father wants to make me a widow. Go and call your uncle now. Stop. Get up now. Pick up. Asadem. Asadem, please. Asadem, I think we should take him to the hospital. Hospital? Yes. Is it no money they pay in the hospital? Eh? Asadem, we can hold him. Asadem. Asadem. Judo Biko! Fast! Papa, Mama said I should call you, please. Hurry. forthcoming exams until such fees has been cleared. Now listen to these names. Chama Morabu. Aluji Isofo. Ugoma Osadebe.
We don't have any money to pay school fees now. My father just died and my mother doesn't have any money. Just just give us a little time and we'll pay. How is it supposed to be my business? Look here, young girl. This school did not kill your father. When he was bringing you to this school, he should have made sure he made adequate provisions for your education. And if you cannot get money to pay for your school fees, then go home and help your parents. And stop looking for how to occupy space you do not merit. Leave this place before I descend on you now. What happened? Mama, the sales of jam form will soon close. Ah, we have to get our forms, Mama. Mama, I don't care how you get the money. We just need to buy our jam forms. Charlie, good. How do I get the money to pay for your sister's school fees and these jam forms you're telling me now? You know we've not been able to pay the debts we incurred during your father's burial. The little money I had on me, I had to give it to your brother for his examination fees. Would you children just calm down, exercise some patience, so that he will finish the school, get a job and lift this burden off my shoulders? Is this not how it always is? Everybody is thinking of Ikechukus, Ikechukus, everybody is taking care of Ikechukus needs before that of any, anybody else in this house. Ah, is he the only one that should be in school? Are both of us not supposed to be in school as well? No, he's the first son, Mr. High and Mighty. Huh? The rest of us will serve him all our lives. But Mama, don't forget that things will always be like this, Mama. Let me see what will happen when things change. Jude! What do you people want me to do? Do you want me to steal to get this money? Mama, if you have to steal, you steal. Do. Stanley! inside the house obeying tradition when my children are hungry. Eh? You know there's no other person to give us so I have to come out and look for food for my children. that has driven you out of your house. Do Corey, you know you're the husband and father we now know. And you know that my husband did not leave anything for us when he died. My children have been driven out of school. And Ikejuku and Stanley are about to take their jam exams. Mm. 
then you know that if I don't pay, they will not be allowed to take the exams. So, what do you want me to do? I was, I was wondering if you could raise money for me. The little one I had, I used it in paying for Ikechuku's teacher training exams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they say father caught fire and people are asking if his uh, beard got burnt too <laughs> hey Mary if I had money would I not have sent uh, Obiechi as useless as he thinks as, 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 as he wants to be would I not have sent him to the best school in this past Look, if you do not have money to pay their fees, eh, let them stay at home until you can get money. I mean, after all, it is not everybody who is supposed to go to school. Uh, if all of us go to school, who is going to farm? Anyway, if you insist on their going to school, eh, let Ikechuku, their elder brother, begin to work. Then he would be able to support them. Everybody has his own body, no. Thank you, sir. my own money and train your own children so that they can become something and my own is roaming the streets hmm. uh, then tomorrow people will be calling you mama lawyer mama doctor ha. Pick a basket and go to the pharmacy if you can have some cassava. Oh. Hey. Am I still early now? I and know. see, the sun is not even out yet. I know. But your brother is coming in tomorrow morning. Huh? I want us to at least keep food in the house. Hmm? Just go and come back early. Let us peel and prepare it for frying, okay? Mm -hmm. oh? mm -hmm. I want us to have food in the house. Go, 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 go. Come back early. Oh? Yeah. Oh, go, go, go. Bye, bye. Oh? What are you doing here? Yeah. Very good morning. Thunder! Strike that your mother you are using to greet me. Good morning. I said, what are you doing on my farm? Uh, Dave, Brody Keshku will be coming back from his teacher training exams tomorrow. So, Mama sent me to the farm to have some cassava so that there will be food in the house when he comes back. If I ever see your leg or the leg of any of your people here, I will cut it, fry it, and put it in that food that you're cooking. Did anyone tell you that this lamb belongs to your mother or anyone else? Uh, okay, we've always found here. Yeah, Mama said I should not have from Kazama, that I should not come back without. Yeah, yeah. If I ever see you here again, if I ever see you, I'll teach you 
دست یه بلده بگو کنی من سنده نه گناو از این گناو you want to feed your wretched family by stealing? There, is there any problem? You sent that girl to my farm to steal cassava. And now you're asking me if there's any problem? Huh. There. I sent her to the farm at Ebuelu. That is surely not your farm. He belongs to my husband. And that wretched village that you come from. Did they tell you that dead men own anything? Everything that your husband owned when he was alive, including you, belongs to me now that he is dead. And if any of you ever make the mistake of coming anywhere near that farm, then you will see what I will do you because you will never forget it for the rest of your life. If everything belongs to you, then why are you not taking care of those things that belong to you? One more word from you and I will tie up that your mouth with the Okolo wine. I warn you, there are some things that we do that lead us down the path of destruction. Remember that. Remember that! Now this ten is getting out of hand. I will deal with this man. Stanley, shut up. Don't talk about your uncle like that. Whose uncle? People should look for something better to do. Mama told me about the things that happened while I was away. Anyway, we all have to remain strong. Hmm? And I can assure you, that things will brighten up eventually. Amen. Okay? By the way, I passed my exams. I uh, came out as the best student in the class. Great work. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, congratulations. Oh, well done. Congratulations. 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 I'll soon be posted to a school you know, where I can start teaching and when that happens, by God's grace, I'll be able to pay your school fees. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm. since that arrangement cannot effectively take place before your jam exams, I would rather that you forget about the exams and think about taking it sometime next year. Brother, you can talk, oh. you can talk. Did you repeat your year? Eh? Didn't you write your exams and passed? 
It's when it comes to us that we have to repeat our year. Bianjud, don't talk to your elder brother like that. Mama, how do you want him to talk to him? I only should be in second year. Uh, and here you are telling us to wait for a whole year before writing the jump. You people should find money for our jump funds. Well, I don't blame you. How very little you understand. Maybe the two of you can actually sell Mama and use the money to pay for your fees. Oh. Yeah, hmm? so nice. Brother, it's alright. If you want us to repeat, then no problem, we'll repeat. After all, where do we expect you to get money in such a short while? Oh. If it's to repeat, no problem. After all, we've been repeating since, so one year will not kill us. Well, I. Uh... I never said it was going to be easy. And, uh, I also know that it is my responsibility to take care of you all. And I pledge I will take care of you all through your university education. Hmm? I certainly would have loved to go to the university myself, but I'll have to shelve that plan until you are all out of school. That way, if you are standing, Family will stand also. Ugun. Mm, I was talking with my mother the other day. Um, we both feel that it wouldn't be a wise thing to put all our eggs in one basket. I came up with this idea. I would like you. I'd like you to go and learn fashion designer. Huh? Mm -hmm. It will only take you two years. And by the time you're done, believe me, you would have acquired enough experience to start a business of your own. Oh. But I, I want to go to school. And you will go, go. Huh? This way, you're not losing anything. You even stand the chance of making money faster than every other person in the family. And I know how good you are with your hands, Ugo. And if you ask me, I think it's the best option right now. Hmm? There are a lot of big fashion designing outfits in the city. And these people are making more money than graduates can ever dream of. <laughs> more money than graduates are making right now. The same thing can happen to you if you take it seriously. Huh? <laughs> you know, I I can even picture the signboard right now. Guma and Associates, fashion designers for excellence. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. Mm. Good afternoon. So, where are you going? Uh, I want to go and see a friend of mine in Umbo. Mm. Mm. You have started using the bicycle your father left behind. No, no, no. Not that. I discovered that he has a problem. So, I want to take it to the bicycle repairer for him to repair. I hear that uh, you passed your school, your, your teacher's training exams and that you scored more marks than anybody else. Yes, Uncle. Mm, that is good. That is good. But don't you think um, you should come home so that I can bless you and pray for you? Yes, it is, it is the right thing to do. Now that I only came back yesterday. But I will come. I must come. The sooner you come, the better. Unless, uh, unless you don't want to progress. Unless you don't want to become the rich man that you are meant to be. Don't stay too long. Remember, 
Your brothers and sister look up to you. Hmm? I will come, sir. I will come. Hmm. Okay. Progress unless my name is not Okorie. You cannot continue treating me like this. There is something I know you do not. There is something I will teach you only if you allow me. There are so many things I know you are not even happy. Can you know now just try for once, pay me a visit. Do you think I don't know you? I know what is in your mind. Probably when you get it, you just disappear. I know you very well. No, now, Kim. Hi. I'm the biggest boy in this village, yo. If you approve it to me, then. How? How? Yes. Look, I want you to get me a G-string and uh, a bra. G-string? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one is this three again? <laughs> this is funny. So, you don't know what is this three now. You claim to be the biggest boy in the town. Let me tell you what this three is. This three is a kind of pants that big girls in the city wear that makes them look very attractive to boys. Okay, now I know. Mm. Okay, if it is this three, don't bother. We finish the whole this three in the market. What is that? Promise me that I will have my breath and this. You know what? Don't worry about that. Hmm? Just buy it first then. Shut you'll be the one to get tired about everything. Now you are talking. Okay. We were going to come yesterday. Ah, I am sorry. I did not get back in time. Hmm? Besides, there are so many problems to solve. Please let them not kill you for me. Oh. Ah, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I am the first son. I know the life of every first son is a life of sacrifice. So tell me, how did you? Shocked at what happened. Don't tell me there's any bad news. <laughs> I got you there. <laughs> there can never be any sad news around me. Eh? I'm a child of God. I passed my exams. I came out top of the class. Wow! <laughs> hey, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are looking at the latest teacher in Omoa. At least I can now focus on making an honest woman out of you. Are we in a hurry? Let's be here for you. Hold on, let me get it from fetching my mind. No, please don't change your mind. Thank God I found you. You know, you keep me focused. <laughs> so tell me, what did Mama say? Omoa <sighs> was very happy. Tell my brothers. Brother. My brothers were okay jumping up and down. She cooked me my favorite pot of soup. Mm. Wait, you forgot to bring an opener. I'm not supposed to open this with my teeth. Do that. <laughs> I know now, I'm a teacher now. Okay, you're no longer a village by your teacher. I have to say through. <laughs> really? Start, I, I should lead by example. <laughs> good morning, sir. Oh, good morning. Do you have your seats. Thank you, sir. I did everything. This is your salary for the month. They said I'm going to give it to you personally. 
Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I, You're I didn't know it was going to come this soon. No, actually, I thought that since this is your first month, that you've been needing money to take care of one or two things. So I went to the bus and got this for you. Thank you again, sir. God will bless you, sir. You're welcome. And I also learned that you've been doing very well with the football team. <laughs> All glory to God, sir. <laughs> what can I say? Uh, with the way they are going, I wouldn't be surprised if we win the regional championship. You see, we've never won that cup since the inception of this school. Really? Yeah. So <sighs> we'll be very glad if you bring that trophy. Yeah. Well, I'm positive, sir. We're winning this time. I would appreciate that. Um, one more thing. You know, <clears throat> you're just starting your teaching career. And I uh, think it's wise I give you this advice. Knowing fully well that you're not going to remain a teacher forever. Okay. A time will come when you want to invest in something else aside teaching. So, because of this, I've established a kind of trait contributing society for my teachers. Okay. So, interested ones pay the maximum of 5,000 every month. So when it's their turn, they collect the other person's turn just like that. So I want you to be involved in this so that in future you have something to fall back on. What should you think about it? Well, uh, honestly sir, I, I don't think I can effectively be part of that arrangement the reason is simple. My salary right now is 10,000 Naira and I have a lot of responsibilities. By the time I take 5,000 Naira away from this money and make the contribution, I'll have virtually little or nothing left for my family's needs and that of my son. Let me ask you, before you started working here and earning salaries, how have you been taking care of these needs? Look, you're not going to regret this. If you hate to this, in future you'll come back to thank me. Look at me. I've finished building my house in the village. I'm about starting one in the city. Waiting for that rainy day to come. So you're not going to regret it. So invest in this. This money you are seeing, you are carrying about now, you think is money. By the time it gets off your hand, it becomes another person's money. My first salary, and we're going to use it in solving the problems around here. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to take this money huh? and go and buy things that will prepare the best pot of soup in the world. Yes, yes. <laughs> because we have been hungry for too long. Hmm? Ah. 
use this and pick up the best ingredients so we can eat the best food in this village. Because go, yes, go, 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 slow down, yo. Make sure that money follows you to the market. Oh. Uh, are you understanding, huh? Brother, thank you. Mm, take it and buy something for yourselves. Huh? Yeah. You deserve it. Listen, 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 I promise you that by next term, huh, you'll be going back to school to write your journal. Thank you, my son. It's so good to see your brothers and sisters happy again. Okay. Hello, thank you. You know, Mama, we thank God that things are finally improving. And like I promised, I'll see them in school all the way. Thank you. May God bless, increase, and multiply you. Amen. Amen. You go to your uncle and show him some of the money. Uncle uh, He is the father we know now. Oh, that is the right thing to do. Because. Well, Mama, if you say so, but he hasn't always been there for us. Thank you. And I don't know what you have with this around to do. Every little thing. Sure, for sure. Will you shut up? I mean, why do you come here? You give me 400. Where is the money? How much am I supposed to give you? Make that money, my friend. Go. 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 You push it down, Sanjay. Nice. Uh, our people have a saying. The disabled arm may not reach where the good arm will, but it will get the snuff box on that guys. <laughs> and I, this may be small, but I said let me bring it to you and tell you as tradition demands that I've started work and I've earned my first salary. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Uh, this is for you now. Ah. For me? Elder, please pray for me. <laughs> you have spoken well, my son. Mm. Uh, the son that recognizes his father, he himself will be recognized by his own son. Amen. Mm. Uh, Amen. God will bless you and multiply you. Um, Your job will feed you and take care of the needs of your family. Amen. That which you are looking for, you will find it. Amen. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. You're welcome. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your mother, and it is I, Okorie, the pauper. You have brought this useless, dead Naira notes so that I can do what with them? Do I not deserve to eat the fatty bones? Hey, go, go, hey, go, go. <laughs> Let us see how he is going to progress. Take wine and drink. Let those who have decided that we shall not live, let them not have peace. Ike Chuku shall know no peace, no joy as a teacher. His roads shall be blocked. All that he seeks in life shall elude him.
Ah, <laughs> what are you doing here? I've been waiting for you. Honestly. Waiting for me? Yes. Uh, is there any problem? No, not really. It's just that I have a need and I need to solve it urgently. I said, let me know if you can give me some money. You know, you are my brother. I have started working. Uh, uh, I, I wish that I had it to give to you, Obi. Hmm? But this is just my first salary. And I have used all the money to solve problems in the house. You know that. Papa's burial left us indebted. And it is those debts that we've been trying to pay since. Are you telling me that you cannot give me this money? Mm, 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 not really. Uh, not really. Mm, no. But wait. This thing that you want to do, hmm? can it not wait till next month? Hmm? So that at least when I collect my next salary, I can help you out with some money. Ikech, you forget this next month issue. Eh? I saw you giving my father money right now. Mm. Eh? That does not mean that I have more money left. Eh? I brought that to him because he is the father that we all know now. Besides, that is the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Ikechuku, why are you so proud? Are you the only person that is working at any money? Just because of this little money. Small money. Ikechuku, in fact, I will make money. And when I make money, I will deal with you. I promise you. I must deal with you. I will make my own money. And you will see my action. Just wait. Just little money. No problem. Don't worry. We will see. It's just for me. Don't worry. Things have become all that hard for their good. Things cannot be hard for my father now. Ah, God forbid. He only wants to buy a brand new bicycle. So he now told me to come and sell this one so that he can add money to it and go to the town tomorrow and purchase another one. That's all. Because if I buy this one now from you, I will have to look for him to sell it to. So, if you're selling it 5,000 naira, I'll give you money here now. That is not a lot of now. Can't you do something better than that? Please, the, watch, the bicycle is still new. Eh? Watch it. It's new, and they want to sell it. Well, Thank 
put that on this now. I... Okay, just bring it. Bring it. I'm in the head. I, 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 oh. My father is in the head. That's all I can afford. Five thousand. Spirit came here to come and carry it. See, Papa, I don't like this. If you don't want to end up seeing the, the underside of the ground today, then you better go to wherever you have hidden my bicycle and bring it back here. Eh, Papa. So I, I am now a human being you can talk to me. But I will be in this house and you cannot allow me to touch any of your property. Papa, you claim you have a son, yet we use a bicycle to send the case for an errand while I'm busy doing nothing here. Uh, he's the one that I saw riding the bicycle towards the market. And when I asked him, he said that he sent him to buy snow for you. We can do. Yes, Papa. Are you sure? I'm very sure, Papa. I can't lie. Hey! We can do. Who has, has stolen my bicycle? I did not send him anywhere or to buy me anything. I didn't even see him come here this morning. Hey! We can do. Ah! You have stolen my bicycle! Today, I will show you! Yes. Is he not the one you consider his son? <clears throat> Me, I did not go to the church training court. I don't even earn salary to bring back to you. Huh? So, in fact, I don't know how to ride a bicycle. Go and ask me for your bicycle. Look, look at cars. Bicycle everywhere. And yet, you cannot allow me to ride a common bicycle. Stop! Go! Where is that thing? that calls himself a teacher, whose talking trait is to take other people's things that don't belong to him. Where is he? Where is he? Then what is the matter? If you ask me that kind of stupid question again, Amadio here will take you this afternoon. Where is he? Where is Ike Chiku? He's not yet back from school. What school? Is it not the same Mike Chuku who came to my house this morning and stole my bicycle? Tell him to bring my bicycle back to me. Because if by this evening he has not brought it back, you, your mother, all of you, will be ostracized from this village if it's the last thing I do. Thief! Thief! What kind of trouble is this? Uh, we all know what the penalty for stealing is in this community. Nikkei Chuku is my late brother's son, so he is my son. Uh, but I cannot stand in the way of justice. Because if tomorrow somebody does what he has done, then I will not have mouth to speak. What is this thing that my son has stolen from you that you could not even ask questions before drying us in the sun before the elders? Hey, man. Woman, shut up! Shut up and keep quiet. 
Your son has been accused of stealing his uncle's bicycle and selling it. Let him defend himself. And you keep your mouth shut. Our elders, I greet you. I have only one thing to say. I did not steal Dale Kodia's bicycle. Neither was I anywhere near the bicycle where it was parked on the said day. I've never stolen anything before in my life. I did not steal when we needed money and help. Why should I steal now that I'm making some little money? Why? If you ask me, if this whole thing is not that serious, I think it's reason for laughter, really. It is. But all I want to ask my uncle is why he is doing this. I am not a child anymore. And I know the circumstances that led to my father's death. For the sake of peace, I will keep quiet. But I still ask, why are you chasing me around? What have I done to you? Gods will not sleep until they have avenged me. Elders, you have heard the accusation. Ikechuku said that I killed his father, my brother. I demand justice. I demand justice! Thief! Thief! I want this This is my bicycle. Where did you get it? I'm sorry. I don't know, I did not know you were having a family meeting, so I may go. No, 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 no. I asked you a question. Where did you find my bicycle? Your son, Obiechi, brought it to me yesterday and told me that. You told him to sell it. And I gave him 5,000 naira. Huh? Eh? For later, I thought about it. And I said, let me return it and ask you if actually you sent him to sell it. Obiechi! He has finished me! I hope you heard him. I hope you heard him. That is the same man that has been accusing me and my family. My father's brother indeed. No, 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 no. Today, okay. he will see the end. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. 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 What's the problem now? I'm not going for that and this unless you buy what I asked you to buy for me. Here is the power. So you bought that? Four distance, four braziers and two leggings. Yeah, thank you very much. I told you I don't fail to keep my promises.
opportunity to get rid of Ketchukun. Say that oh, you should lance the boil when it is when it is still young, because when it grows, oh, it becomes a scrotal abscess. It is your son you should get rid of. If not, he will put you in bigger trouble than you can even begin to imagine. How I wish. His mother were alive to see the thing that he gave, she gave me as a boy. Okori, nothing spoiled yet. Nothing has spoiled at all. You are still the beautiful that you are. Eh? The Otaji no Naji Onokpo of this community. You can still make use of the opportunity if you want. What opportunity? Take a drink to the family. Hmm? Tell them you have come to apologize concerning the false accusation leveled against their son Ikechiku by your son Obiichi. And that process sparked Ikechiku's drink. When the head of the family is no more there, who then will organize others to fight it? Nobody! Everything will become yours! <laughs> But they will not accept drink from me. Yeah, they may not take a drink from you. But nothing stops them from taking drink from me or Ugechi. Afterwards, he's the person going to make the apologies, not you. Abi? It is not as easy as that. Time and time again, Ugechi has been given the opportunity to prove himself trustworthy. And he has failed. Give me the next opportunity. Maybe when they start to realize what he has to gain from so doing, he will become the real son you want him to become. Yeah. Why? I think you have a point there. Yes. Yes. I think you have a good point there. Over here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mama, come, come, come. Mama, you know I don't know what it says, but whatever it says, you children have done very well. University, here I come. <laughs> Mama, very soon you will address me as Dr. Jude. Dr. Jude, you think go passing the exam is the main thing? It is going to the university. Look at this cockroach. Where do you think they will get money to pay your school fees? Where? How does it concern you? What now? Ours is to sit and pass them while it is the duty of Mama and Brother Ikechuku to pay our fees. Exactly. See, do you think sitting and passing them is all this stuff and join you people so in that your local designer fellow shop? Stanley, 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 it's okay. The God that helped you pass your exams will help us train you. Mama, you better do because me, I must become a graduate. Nothing will stop it. Mama, don't worry. Eh? Just tell God that when I become a medical doctor, that He should stop providing your room because I, Jude, will start providing them. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Jude, you think spending 10 years in secondary school is the way to become a medical doctor? Hmm? Why are you talking as if you're jealous? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Mama, don't worry. Hmm? Don't worry about the situation. We will find money. We will. It is not everybody in this village that has this kind of opportunity to go to the university. We will not let this one pass us by. My son, you took a seed this money grows on trees. <laughs> you know how long it took us to find the money for them to sit for the exams in the first place? But we found it, Mama. Didn't we? We uh, found it. Yes, yes, we did. Because God was gracious enough to help you get a job. Mm -hmm. But how long is it going to continue to be that gracious? Eh? The money you're making now is barely feeding us in this house. 
and we're talking about sending two young men to the university. My son, you have your own needs now. And very soon now, you'll be talking about getting married and raising your own family. <laughs> and that will not take long now. You sound as if you have already found a girl. I, Mama, no, you are not getting anything out of me. I am not saying anything yet. I am not. But when I am sure, I will let you know. <laughs> yeah, I... However, I think I just might have an idea on how to raise money for Stanley and Nikki Chukwu's education. Let me see now. Yeah, Mama. We'll talk about it later when I come back from school tomorrow morning. Let me do some thinking. There is there's something I'm working on that I'm positive to just my work. I'm positive about it. You look worried. Is there anything the problem? Uh, everything is all it's all right, sir. If everything is all right, what is the problem? Uh, there is no problem, sir, really. Uh, it's just that my my two younger brothers you know, have passed their jam exams and one of them gained an admission into the university to study medicine and the other accountancy. That's wonderful. That's wonderful news. You see, God has blessed your family so graciously. <laughs> yes. He yeah, really blessed for celebration. That is where the problem lies. So. I don't understand. Well, okay. Let me try and be as clear as I can. Um, I am the one carrying the burdens of the family. And I want them, you know, I want these boys to go to the university. I, I really want them to become something, you know, useful people in life, in society. But there is no money to train them. And uh, honestly, I was, I was hoping if I could get a loan from the cooperative society, even if it's just to pay their initial fees. You see. That's no problem. That was exactly why we set up this trip to contribute in society. To help members just like this. So it's no problem. I'll help you talk to other members. And I'm sure they're going to give a room to take care of that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. Sir. Thank you, sir. No, I appreciate it. No, it's okay. It's okay. God bless you, sir. Oh, my dear. God has really blessed your family. No, that will take care of that. It's no problem. Sometimes I won't. So, no, we're always there for each other. Do people talk too much? Hi! <laughs> Stanley, Jude, this is for you. Hmm? This is for your schooling. By next week, I want you to go to the university hmm? and register so that you can start off. Brother, thank you. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah. You remember that I promised that I'll see to it hmm, that you both get the type of education that I was an opportunity to have. Huh? That's okay. And God help me, by God's grace, I'll continue to make good on that promise. Hmm? Thank you. Um, brother, where did you get this? Ah, all that does not matter. Huh? Doesn't really matter. What matters is that we have it. And with this, you will be able to pay your fees and buy most of the things that you will require all through your first year. Hmm? Brother, I don't know what to say. Thank you very much. Oh, please, 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 get up here. I, we will never forget. May God bless you. No. We will never forget you. No.
Yeah, we will never. Let's get them. Thank you very much. This one will not be a waste. We will come out in flying colors. Yes. Brother. And we'll make sure you don't lack like anything in life. No here. problem. Save your speeches. Just get them. <laughs> <up. laughs> mm? That doesn't matter. Just make sure you do well in school. Yeah? Yes, brother. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my son. I don't know where all this came from, but I know that it's from a good source. I cannot thank you enough for everything you have been doing for your brothers. Thank you. When they knelt down, I felt like kneeling down. Too. Thank you, Oma. Uh -huh. I thought you forgot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know how your training is going, hmm? but I believe this will certainly help you buy most of the things, if not all the things that you will need. Huh? And, uh, huh. When you would have finished your program there, we will look for money hmm? and help you to establish you know, an outfit of your own huh? so that you can tell the world. Yeah? Show the world the stuff that this family is made of. Hmm? Yes, brother, thank you. Thank you very much. God will bless you. No, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Ona. Hey, thank you. Sandy, you brother. You should go and keep your money inside. It is your money. Make sure. Make sure you do something very well. Don't waste it. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. Oh, no, no. I almost thought you were going to school. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, thank you. Where did you get all that? <laughs> mama. Ah, mama, 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 mama. Ah. Anyway. You remember that I told you that I joined the thrift society in school mm -hmm. on the advice of the headmaster. Mm -hmm. I approached them and they gave me a loan. Uh, they will be deducting the money little by little from my salary until I finish paying it off. And, uh, I strongly believe and hope that this money that I've given to my brothers will cover the very first year of their schooling. And by next year, I hope I can get another loan in order to continue to finance their education. Thank you very much. You are a good son. I'm sure that your father, wherever he is, must be very proud of you. I don't know how to thank you. Your father had always wanted you to, to go to school, have sound education, and bring us all out of the poverty that has plagued us for so long. Thank you. Especially for the fact that you put aside your own ambition just to make sure your brothers make it in life. God bless you. May God keep you for me. Thank you very much, my son. Thank you. It's all right, Mama. It's okay. You know, my uh, my greatest consolation is that their success is my success too. you to open your ears and hear what I am telling you. Look. Powder. Now you will put that thing, the powder on your finger. My finger? Yes. You will be the one that will serve the wine. When you, when you get to Ikechuku, you will dip that finger into the glass of wine. Just that little bit is enough. Hmm? Yes. 
you mess it up, it will be on your head. I am doing this so that you will be the only one standing in the family. Look at you. You sit here eating apple while uh, Ike Chuko has become a teacher. Only God knows what the other two will become in future. Now, you heard what I said? Yes, Papa. I, I am not done. I heard you. Mm. Papa, you, you are not even the only one that wants to get rid of the pompous thing that thinks it has become something. Mm. Eh? Just because it has become an ordinary teacher. Ordinary teacher. But I wish I did not have to kill him so that he can live and see what I will be in future. Let my enemies live long and see what I will be in future, Papa. I must make money. With that help, <laughs> you will become nothing. Papa, watch and see. No. Mary. Hey. You are my brother's wife. If I say that um, I have not treated you and your children badly, then I will be telling a lie. And one thing I have never done in my life is tell a lie. What happened a few days ago should never have happened. It was Obiechi here who told me that uh, Ike Chuku stole my bicycle. That is why I have brought him and uh, the elders so that we can ask for your forgiveness and that of Ike Chuku. My wish <laughs> is that uh, Ike Chuku succeeds in what he is doing. Because if it is well with him, then it will be, uh, it will be well with the, with the rest of the family. Mary? Sir? You are a woman. You shouldn't have been here in the first place if your husband was alive. But is it, your son was wrongly accused. And uh, he happens to be a Korean son as well. Since his father is no more alive. And that is why he wants to kill us off also. Because Papa is dead. My brother, that's a very wrong way to think, my son. Eh? You see, all your uncle wants is your success and trust of your brothers. You know? I know what he has done to BH since he discovered that uh, you were wrong, wrongly accused. So, please, my son, accept this drink for the peace and progress of this family. Right? Please. I'm only a widow. I don't have any other person to fight for me and my family, if not God. Though, Corey, if you have brought this drink to see for peace, it is tradition that we accept it. Because no one fights a battle, he will lose. You are a good woman, Mary. If it was not that old age has caught up with me, I would have gone to people to ask them what I should do to have him. And carry the burden of this family, eh? It means having you in my house, then the burden will be less indeed. <laughs> okay, Stanley, Richard. Please, pour out the drink that your uncle brought. No, Mama. I am the person that caused all this trouble in the first place. So let me share the drinks. Huh? Oh. 
We get you. Please forgive me. We are brothers. It is all right, but you should have given the elders their drinks first. the one that we have come to bed. It is our tradition that who, whoever is first offended should first take the drink. If not, nobody else does that. So take the drink.
We just got admission into the university, so he said, "Let us come see and inform you that we will soon leave for school." You, you, you mean you have get admission to university? Yes, I'm yes, sir. Ah. <laughs> that is good. <laughs> oh, that is good. Thank to you. study what? Medicine, uncle. I'm going to be a medical doctor. I'll be studying accountancy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it is good. It is good. It is good. Mm. Thank you. But my children, you know university is expensive. So how are you going to uh, pay for the uh, your tuition? You don't need to bother yourself, Uncle. Our brother Ikechu has promised to train us. As a matter of fact. He has given us money for our school fees and everything we'll be needing throughout our first year. Then after the first year, we'll see what happens. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Well, that is good. I just hope that tomorrow uh, your brother doesn't go uh, telling people that, uh, well, you would not have amounted to anything if he hadn't uh, trained you. Mm. <laughs> anyway, since he has uh, promised uh, and, you know, and decided to take on the responsibility, uh, allow him. But just be careful how you deal with him. Because hmm, people are not usually what they seem. Oh. He may be the family Messiah today, but who knows tomorrow? Mm. Um, thank you very much, Uncle. We will be leaving the day after tomorrow. Mm. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, go well. Go well. Uh, but don't forget to write me. Let me know how things are going. Okay. Huh? Let me know. Uh, Concentrate on your studies okay. and get away from all these worldly things. Eh? Okay. There will be time for that later. Okay. Plenty of time. Okay. 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 Yeah, go well. Thank you very much. Go well. Good evening. Have a good evening. Yes. Thank you. Well done. You see? Well done. They are progressing. You are regressing. You had the opportunity of killing Ike Chuku. What did you do? You went and killed the wrong person. Look, it is the same Ike Chuku now who is paying their school fees. You see, I said? They are progressing. Look at you. Well done. The whole thing will be decided on who has more money. Finally. Papa, let my enemies live longer. See what I will be in future. Oh, come here, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Simple thing, you can't do it. I'm telling you, my enemy, my enemy. Yes, can I help you? Uh, I just saw you walked into your shop now. I just wanted to know who she is. Which of them? Uh, the one uh, wearing purple skirt and uh, light green spotted in white shirt. Anyway, that's her day. Let me call her. Ah, no, 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 no. Uh, um, see, I, I don't want her to know that I'm asking after her. Then what makes you think I'll tell you who she is? What if you want to know her? No, then you want to think of her. I'm such a beautiful girl. This must be mad. Okay? Man. Anyway, her name is Uguma. Uguma? Daughter of Leeds or Sadebe. Of Ami village. Sadebe? Ami. All right, all right, uh, please, please. Uh, 
haben wir es heute schon so gehen. Okay, bitte. Thank you. I forget what about it. Where are you going? I'm with a bag. I'm going to Lagos. <laughs> you are going to Lagos. You think all you need to do is just take a bag, put one or two things and say you are going to Lagos. Is Lagos the pit latrine behind the house? I am tired of this village. I am tired of your nagging and talking in this house every day, Papa. I am going to where there is action. And that is where I can become something and somebody. Look, if the cow cannot be something where it is born, is it where it has been taken to go and eat grass? That's where it will become something. Let a cow go to Argentina. It can only become come beef. Papa, I've made up my mind that I must travel to Lagos. And by the time I come back, you will stop laughing. The only thing I can see you doing is robbery. And if you are not careful, you will die like a rabbit. Uh, Papa, my own prayer is for you to stay alive and see what I will be in future. Huh? Let my enemies live long and see what I will be in future. Ha! I saw her some time back and it struck me how beautiful she is. I observed her for quite some time before I started asking questions. And uh, I was told that she's from a very good home and a good girl. <laughs> who are these people who have been telling you things about my daughter? Mama, I will not be a man if I should give told me good things. Ugum, what do you have to say? <laughs> I don't know. I, I've not spoken to him. I've spoken to him just once. And that was the day he came to our shop to take measurements to sew a cloth for a female friend of his. No, 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 no. That cloth was meant for you and not for a female friend of mine. It was sewn with their measurements. And as a matter of fact, it was meant, you know, for you as a gift that I was coming to give to you. You have not told me what you are looking for and um, why you have come. Ah, uh, Mama, I have come to make appetites. You see, I do things differently from the other people too. I am a child of God. And for that reason, I uh, shouldn't be playing pranks or hide and seek game with Ugoma without letting my intention known by her family. And additionally, I wanted her to know before you that I want to marry her. Uh, um, thank you very much for your good intentions. Thank you, Mama. But um, Ugoma is only but a child. She has not even finished her secondary school. It is because of poverty that she left school to learn fashion designing. Oh, Mama, a kid does not have to be 30 years old before she becomes a woman. She's already a woman. And I believe she will make me a good wife and a good mother to my children. Anyway, it is not in my position to answer you. Ugoma here has a brother who is now the head of his family. And he will be the one to answer you when he comes. And Mama, I expected that answer. Because it would have been wrong way to be the other way around. 
But like I said before, I will come with my people. I'll come back. Thank you, Mama. If you are to be the other way, you have been wrong. But like I told you, I will come with my people. Thank you. to bring the girl that I intend to marry to this house so that you can assess her and tell me what you think. The girl you want to marry? <laughs> hey! God, I thank you. It's like all my children are getting married at the same time. Wait, 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 Mama. I, I don't understand. Uh, what do you mean by that? Somebody came here concerning your sister. Somebody actually came to ask for Goma's hand in marriage. Oh. Hey, wait. Doesn't that person realize that she's just a child? Huh? Brother, I'm not a child. I'm a grown up. And I can do everything a grown-up woman can do. Oh. <laughs> 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 and what did you tell him? Well, um, he said he's coming back with his people. <laughs> All right. We will wait for him to come now. But that. Mama says he's a good person. You know, eh? I'll actually like to see this man that is making my sister behave this way. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, <laughs> when your father died, I thought the end of the world had come. I kept on asking myself over and over how I was going to take care of your children. But I thank God. I thank God who does not forget his children. God has raised Ikechuku here. He has raised him up to take care of his family. Iken Nam. Nam. Thank you. I want to seize this opportunity on behalf of your brothers and sister to say thank you for everything you have done for this family. May God continue to keep you. Amen. May he continue to bless you. Amen. And may he continue to prosper you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much, my son. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. <laughs> well, what can I say? You know, when you have a... A mother as good as this, what else can I ask for? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, part of my greater joy is that uh, my two brothers have graduated from the university. <laughs> and, uh, my only sister will go mad. We are able to establish a business of our own. And it's good to know that everybody is standing on his feet now. <laughs> Maybe, just maybe, um, I may start living my own life now. Um, I guess we'll start by making the announcement that my wife is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? 
So, Uncle, it's just to inform you that we are through with our youth service. Oh. And we have secured jobs. Ah, that's just good. The bank where I said retained me as their staff. Oh. While Jude here has started working in one of the best hospitals in the city. <laughs> so, <laughs> very nice. Yeah. We, we know how hard things have been in the family. But we can assure you that things will ease up now. At least both of us will join hands to lift the family. Oh, thank you. Mm, you're welcome. Thank you for this. Uh, we thank God for you younger ones. Uh, if it had been left to just uh, the, your, your older ones, hmm, hunger would have killed us. Oh yes, oh yes. Obiechi, who went to leave us? I have not heard one word from him. One word. Ike Chuku, who is here? Not once did he come to say, Uncle, how are you? What would you eat? If I ate or did not eat, it was only God that saved us. Oh yes. What he has done is to go and marry a woman who has turned his face away from every other member of the family. He only has eyes for her. He will do anything for her. He will die for her. Oh yes. Ah. Hmm. One day I went to see your mother. If you see the way that girl was insulting your brother. Ah! Who ah. insulted mama? Ah. Your brother's wife. Look, I am not saying that you should go and confront him. I just want you to be careful. That girl has not come into the family with a good agenda. No. She has come to scatter the family. Yes. Anyway, Uncle, that's a minor issue. Maybe when we were smaller, someone, someone would have blindfolded our eyes to reality. But now we have grown, and we are capable of handling anybody or any situation. Should we put where she belongs? Then I can assure you. Ah, uh, you want to go? Okay. Yeah, well, and give my regards to your brother. Uh, even though. He has not done anything for me. He has done for you. At least that's what he has been telling all the people who care to know. That he has finished training you in school. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> hey, thank you, Uncle. We have to be on our way now. Thank you. And, 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 th and thank you. Please, thank you. God bless you. <laughs> thank you. Drink. Drink. Yes. have brought this drink let it be the beginning of their downfall yes and the money they have used for buying it you see as this drink dries on your head so let that source the source of that money dry up They think I 
I will sit by? Me? If I sit by and watch their own family grow while my own does not grow, <laughs> then they have another thing coming. Oh, they don't know why I am called Obatosu. So we said, let us come and show you that your children are no longer poor. Mm -hmm. We have made money. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> Mama, Sophia. Mm -hmm. Sophia. Mm -hmm. Sophia. Mm -hmm. Sophia. I can see. In my house. <laughs> really hey. done well for yourself. You've got mm, done well. So, Warren, hey. how is the baby coming out? Well, we are live at home. <laughs> yeah, I can see hey. that. You're welcome. Yes. Um, brother, please take it easy with the car, okay? The paint is silver chrome and it's very expensive. You can't find it anywhere in the country. It's very, very expensive. Yeah. It's obvious. Um, brother, please. There are some bags on the car. Please help me get the bags. From the boots. Oh, hmm? Kona, me too. <laughs> Mama, you yeah. to did you hear them? <laughs> Mama, don't. Mama, don't worry, he will get them. <laughs> hey. Mama, very soon you will learn how to drive. <laughs> you will get me. Oh, brother, I get more to do that. <laughs> No, no. I'll get there. You say she's all right? Of course, she's all right. I mean, <laughs> Olga has never really killed anybody. Uh, apart from what I told you earlier. It's just that uh, inflation has swallowed the salary of every teacher in this country. And what they pay us now can hardly take care of our needs anymore. Anyway, you will just have to manage until things get better. Mm -hmm. My major concern is that your wife is no longer troubling anybody in this house. What did you just say? My wife troubling who? What kind of trouble? See, brother, there's no need to pretend. We were getting reports of how she has been fighting Mama here. Reports from who? Mm -hmm. Who is feeding you such useless information? Brother. It does not matter. If it has been happened, please let it stop. Well, let us overlook this for now. Mama. Isn't mm. it? This is for you. It's not much, but you can manage it. Mama, manage mm? this. Let me use this for my fear. Mm -hmm. Well, brother, there is no problem, eh? We brought back lots of foodstuffs in the house. Things will get better. Okay? Hey! <coughs> Thank you. <laughs> This has come from. Uh, may God replenish it. Amen. Uh, thank you. You are good children. Mm -hmm. I said it before and I will say it again. Without both of you, this family will not stand. But 
you must keep an eye on what is going on in your house. Because your mother will not want to tell you the truth because she wants peace. But you know that woman, that woman, your brother married, she can kill somebody. Anyway, uncle, don't worry. We will look into that. You will. Hmm. And let me bless the cars. <laughs> Uh, our our ancestors. This is for you. Uh, for all the good things that you have done for your children, may they remain and continue to improve. Amen. Amen. And may those of us who witness this thing. Have the same. Amen. <laughs> <Is>, uh... <laughs> yes. uh... Uncle. We have to be on, on our way now. We have such a long journey ahead of us. I know. I know. Thank you very much. Oh no, no, it is I who should be thanking you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. uh... walk into this compound. May he not be the one that will they will use to welcome them back into this place. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And those cars that they have brought here to come and bluff us. May it be the one that will cause their death. And the drinks that they have brought May it be the signal that will make the gods stand against them. Yes. <laughs> and uh, as hot as, the, as this drink is, so should their life be too. Eh? But, but you just prayed for their success right now. Why all this? An ignorant man will die an ignorant man's death. Don't you know that you don't use a hot drink to bless cars? Mm. Let them continue to amass the wealth. It is I who will chop it. Mm. What is the matter? What is this? Excellent, I gave it to you so that you can read it. Jude, you've been sacked. Yes. Why? I carried out the surgery on a patient and forgot a pair of scissors in her stomach. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, for God's sake, dude, you're a better doctor than that. I wasn't the one that did it. 
I led the team that carried it out. Unfortunately, the hospital is taking it out of me. The patients came this morning complaining of signal pains in her stomach. So, an x-ray was carried out on her and the hospital sacked me. They, they can't do that. I mean, so the patients involved is alive. They should have given you a warning letter first. Then, probably a second chance. They weren't interested in that. They disgraced me for me. They have come again, oh. They are holding on to what is mine. <laughs> Those who say that the child will not sleep will not in themselves be able to find sleep. They will not. Mary. Mary. What you are holding on to belongs to me. Those children should be taking care of their uncle as well. When their father died, I became their father. <laughs> but since you have refused, you have refused to allow them to do their duty. Ah! Mary! Oh! Oh, I put a curse on your house. Oh, yes! You shall know nothing but grief and strife until I get my rightful place in that home. You will know no peace, Mary. You will know no peace, Agogo. Mama, I am not insulting you. All I asked for was for you to give me 1,000 Naira so that I can take your daughter-in-law to the hospital. She's pregnant, for God's sake. Hey, Mama, is 1,000 Naira too much money for you to lend me? Is it? After all, Stanley and Jude gave you over 20,000 Naira the other day. One Naira of that money I've not seen. Eh, eh! I know that that is what has been troubling you, Ikechuku. Yes! All you want to do is to lay your, your greedy hands on that money. Mama, what did you just say? Me, Ikechuku, greedy. Mama, I gave away my life to train those two boys. Mama, my life. If I were greedy, would I have done that? Are you not your elder brother? If you did not train those boys, who else would have done it for you? Hey, get you. Are you the first person to train somebody that I cannot drink water and drop a cup in the house? Eh? Are you the first person to train somebody that I cannot drink water and drop the cup again? Hey, get you. Why are you happy with him? Ah, let him insult me. After all, you sent him. Yes! It was since he married you that Ikechuku has forgotten that somebody bore him in her womb. Ikechuku, I went hungry for you to eat. Now, because of the little money your brothers gave me, I cannot rest again. Are you not working? Ikechuku, why do you have your eyes on that money? Ikechuku, no power yo. How come I go? I said, let me come and tell you so that you will know, you people will know what is happening. Hmm? I don't like the way Mama is carrying on. Believe me, I don't like the way Mama is carrying on. Before I married my wife, I told her. I brought her to Mama and she approved. I have not, I have not in the least way neglected Mama, neither has my wife nor myself insulted her in any way. What Mama is doing right now is not good. I don't like it at all. 
and to worsen matters, Stanley and Jude are supporting her every now and then. Eh? I don't know what these people have against my wife and I. I don't understand it. How can they have something against you? Eh? You've always done everything they ever wanted. You've always scattered for their needs. You made them something in life. So why would they have something against you? Eh? Those boys are ungrateful. The chicken whose cheek was carried away by the hawk is shouting. Not because the hawk will return its cheek, but so that everybody will know what is happening. I am shouting. I am really screaming. Because I want people to know that something wrong is happening here. Something very wrong is happening. Hmm? My hands are clean. My hands are clean and only God will bear me witness that all I have ever wanted for the family is for its progress. Joy the good of the family. Nothing more. I'll make out time and visit her. I'll talk to her. Eh? Your wife is a good person. And I don't see how anybody can ever have problems with her. Just calm down. Hmm? Go. I'll talk to them. Let me get you something. Anything. Let me just get something. You have to make this work. See, what I'm about to do now is the biggest risk any banker can ever take. This loan I'm about to grant you right now is supposed to be covered by a collateral. But since we don't have it, I will still have to figure out how to keep it under wraps until you're able to pay back the money. Not to worry. You know I'll find the money. I'll find it. I know you'll find it. But time matters. Um, one more thing. Uncle Oku recalled. He said Mama has been having problems with brother Ikechuku's wife. What? That they have been fighting each other. That little wretch. Somebody needs to straighten her out. I am going to do that this week. Because I will not have somebody insult my mother. Least of all, a girl who, who came from nowhere, a girl who has no education, no background, no pedigree. If you're going this weekend, then I'll go with you. Ah, somebody needs to teach brother how to keep his wife in check. I think this is and smile with you. When your plan is to kill our mother, then you better have your head examined. Me? Kill Mama? Did he hide his mouth when he said it? <laughs> you and your husband should be careful because if anything happens to my mom, I'll deal with both of you. But I have not done anything to Mama now. Don't you ever open your mouth and call me your brother. Because I'm not your brother. This is too much for me. It's too much for me. What have I done wrong in this house? What have Mama told him I did to her? Do I need to tell my children anything? Do I need to tell them before they know what you and your husband have been doing to me in this family? Or you think people are blind, Okwe? Ah, Mama. Mama, this is not fair. You know it. Mama, this is our own life. Hey! Are you calling my mother a liar? Mama is lying and you know it. Would you shut up that mouth of yours? Yeah. Do you ever call my mother a liar? <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> what is going on here? Mori, why are you crying? Okay. Since your people do not want me anywhere near you, I've decided to go back to my mother's house.
What happened? Just your brother slapped me. My brother slapped you. He accused me of trying to kill Mama. And before I could say anything, you slapped me. I even said he was going to deal with two of us. You really? You slapped my wife? Did you not hear what I asked you? Yeah, Ike Tupu. Can't you see I'm talking with my son? Eh? Oh, Mama. So I do not qualify to be a son anymore. Eh? I do not qualify. Is that it? All right. Since maybe you can explain to me why this idiot slaps my wife. I'll slap any woman who insults me, whether she's your wife or not, you insolent idiot. How dare you touch my wife? How dare you? If it could let us hear something. Are you blind? Don't you have eyes? Can't you see that this woman is bringing problems in this house? Can't you see that the devil is using her to bring dissension in this family? Somebody stood somewhere and insulted our mother. Your mother and what you are concerned about is who slapped her, who slapped my wife. You should be ashamed of yourself. Mama, have you heard your sons? Can you hear your sons? It's only God. Only God that is preventing me from doing what I have in my mind. What is that thing in your mind? You get to, what is that thing in your mind? What is that thing? See, maybe you, we all will have rest in this house. Who knows? Maybe it's that thing in your mind. That is causing the problems we are experiencing in this family. And for your information, that is why we came home. To solve that problem once and for all. Yes. And since that problem is your wife, then she has to leave. Yes. May God have mercy on your souls. Amen. Never did I dream that a day like this would come. And I also pray that he will forgive each and every one of you Amen. for what you are doing right now. Amen. Because if your plan is to destroy this family, then it will not work. Oh, woman Rafa. I thought he was going to do more than that. Mm. So see him. He thinks that. Sit down. Everybody that looks like a man is not a man. He's the half man. Half man. His wife instigated him. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Dude, this is not my life! You should go and have better education. You should go to school. I think it is that TTC that you went to that is affected. You should go to a good university. <laughs> it has started! Let the strife and confusion continue until the home disintegrates! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, Gugu! <laughs> Let it continue. There are some that are like that. The devil just releases them into the world to ferment trouble. Your brother's wife is like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. She has been, she is devil, devil's incarnate. She has been sent into your home to create Wahala. Oh yes. You cannot afford to close your eyes. Otherwise, she will take over the home. And you have to deal with her seriously. Uncle, it is only a fool who counts rights while his house burns. As long as I leave, she will never know peace. Moren will never know peace in that house. That is how a man should talk. Yes. But you have to warn your mother to be careful. That girl has already taken over your brother's heart. If care is not taken, 
she will turn her, your own mother, against you people. Oh yes. You must not give her a breathing space. Never. I am telling you this because I care about what happens to the family. Because if it is good for you, it is good for me. Well, uncle, thank you. It is good to know that somebody is thinking about us. And it's also good to know that someone is taking care of Mama while we are away. May God reward you endlessly. Amen. <clears throat> Drink. Drink. Yes. Ah. Um, you know, before I forget, um, I have not heard from him since he went to Lagos. I have not heard from him. I don't know whether he's alive or dead. Uncle is alive. You don't need to bother yourself. You see, it is true that Lagos is a hard place, but Obiechi is a man. He will surely survive. You see, in Lagos, nobody teaches another man how to survive. I trust Obiechi. When he puts himself together, he will surely come home to see you. I hope so. I hope so. So should he. He will. With me, we will. Oh, well. Thank you. Oh, well. Thank you. Um, with uh, Apple or Founder, yeah. Founder, yeah. You are going to Founder. Stanley, Stanley, please, please come with me. I need your help, please. We need to take Maureen to the hospital. I think my wife. Stanley, this is not funny. Did you hear me? Mama wants to prepare something for us to eat. So wait. Oh my God. You are more concerned about food while my wife is out there in pain. I said a baby is on the way. Can't you hear? Look, I'm a doctor. What she's going through now is initial contractions, okay? So she can wait. Let me go and prepare something for you. Please do. It was your mother I saw who told me that uh, your wife had delivered. I said, what? I said to myself, let me go and see with my own eyes. <laughs> okay, we thank God. Oh, oh, we, last night, <laughs> we thank God. Yeah? And it is a boy. <laughs> <laughs> now you have done what a man should do. <laughs> oh, let me look at him. <laughs> He's a big boy, <laughs> and uh, he looks like you. <laughs> yes, he does. Ah, God be praised. God be praised. <laughs> God be praised. Mm. Mm. Yes. <clears throat> Ogugu! Ogugu!
I tie his destiny today. His life shall be full of pain and struggle. It shall amount to nothing. Whatever he embarks on will, will, will amount to nothing. I lay causes on him today. Anything he takes on will not yield anything. If he becomes, if, 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 he, if he tills the land, he will get nothing. If he, if, if he goes fishing in the river, he will get nothing but scorpions. Pain and suffering shall be his lot for as long as he lives. Ogugu! Ogugu! It's a beautiful place. But dude, things have to run as fast as possible. You see, questions are already been asked at the bank concerning the money. And I don't know how long I can cover things. If work can continue this way, I'm sure that we'll be up and running in the next two months. It's just that I don't have money to get all the equipment needed. You don't get everything at the same time. <laughs> One thing first, then another. <laughs> Uh, the time to replace the money has come. We we thought that by now the the hospital must have been to for us to put the money back. But things didn't work the way we planned. As it is now, I stand the risk of not just losing my job, but of being imprisoned. I have gone to virtually everybody I know. And nobody has that kind of money. So, I say, as my beloved brother, let me come to you and, and see if there is something you can do. Anything you can do to assist us, please. Hello? Oh, please, brother. Please help us. Hello? I don't have that kind of money. Piece of land. Eh? What did you just say? Is that have a piece of land you know, I can sell? Oh, thank you very much. I can find someone to sell it to quickly. We can find someone. Hold on. I acquired that land from my accumulated proceeds when I was still in the cooperative society. The land is actually somewhere in the city. And I was keeping that land. When my son will grow up and have his education. But since there is this kind of need in the family, and because it involves life, I'll let it go. Thank you very much. Oh. I do know that whatever it is that we realize from the sale of that land, you should be able to offset the debt you owe. Brother, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I... That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Sorry. I am eternally grateful to you. Thank you very much. I have always known that you are the best thing that has happened to this family. Yes. Oh. May the good Lord bless you Amen. for your kindness. Amen. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you. But may God continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you, Ona. Thank you. You are a good son of your father. Yes. May God bless you. Amen. May he increase Amen. you. Amen. Thank you very much, my son. Thank you, Ona. It's all right, Ona. It's okay. Thank you. I managed to do it for so long. Let me go so I can stand with you. Thank you, Ona. Thank you, Ona. Thank you, Ona. I'll do it, Ona. I will make something for him. Okay. Now, bye bye. 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 Bye bye.
doing? What do you think you're doing? Huh? How? These are the people who do not want you to become a Muslim in life. The same people who are treating us like we are worse than cow dung. And here you are trying to sell away the most valuable thing we have to pay their debts. They are my brothers. And because of that, I will not sit back and watch them go to jail because of what they've done to me in the past. It is not about what they've done to us. It's about what they are ready to do next. Maybe this is the opportunity they need to change their lives. Just maybe. Have you thought of that? Besides, I will not allow them to pull me down to their level in life. No. See, I'm not against you trying to help your brothers. No. But I just want you to think carefully. We have a baby now. Are you sure you're not throwing away our future by trying to help them? Huh? <laughs> My dear wife, he who gives never lacks. Remember that. Dear Heavenly Father, I bless you and I worship you. You are the King of Kings, the Lord of Hosts, the Strong Tower. Father, oh Lord, this morning as always, Father, I welcome your presence into the life of my family and I. And I ask as you, the keeper of Israel, who neither sleeps nor slumber, should take charge of our family today in Jesus' name. For I know that even as the mountains are around Jerusalem, so are you around your people in Jesus' name. Father, may your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Yes? I can't think of a better reason to stop someone other than to share the beauty of the divine life that Jesus Christ brought for us. That life that is superior to the devil. That life that is superior to sickness, to infirmity, to poverty. A life filled with grace and glory. A life of peace and prosperity. That life that will last in the bosom of the Lord. You are too young for the words you speak. You know what? Apostle Paul told Timothy in the Bible. He said, let no man despise your youth. Beside, the word that I speak are not my words, but it comes through my father. The word that is able to give life to the hair. The word that gave you life to today. Look, I have heard everything you're going to say to me now before. Everybody says the same thing. So how do you think I will believe you? The gospel preach is hand from those who believe, who are perishing. But for those who believe, it is the power of God unto salvation. In the book of the Romans, he said, With heart, man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Just first of all, believe with your heart. I know that as I'm preaching this gospel to you now, that the Holy Spirit is ministering to your heart. Just believe and preach to God. You both know that the government has not treated us teachers very well. And uh, since I was retired, I have not been paid my gratuity. And the land, you know, the only piece of property I had then was, and I was keeping it for the children's education. So what I gave to you years ago when you needed help. Are you indirectly asking us to pay you back? No, 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 not, not that. The, the thought has never crossed my mind for a second. No. It's just that Daniel here, 
is about to sit for his work examinations. Uh, there is no money. I don't have any money to register him and pay for his school fees. Brother, the way things are for you, it's the same way things are for everyone. Things are difficult. If I had known this is the reason you asked for me, I would not have come. I have serious things to do in the hospital. I want to sit for my exams. Please, the money is not so much that you can't afford it. Uncle, please. Please. Would you shut up your mouth? Didn't your father teach you that when elders are talking, you're not meant to interrupt them? Stanley. Stanley, we traveled all the way from the village to see both of you because of the way things are with us. If you were the one that needed help and I had to help, you know that I would not hesitate to do that. <laughs> that you were coming. Secondly, you said that if you had to help, you would have helped us. So we don't have to help. So both of you can leave. Yes. Money does not grow on trees. See, if you had called and informed me that you were coming, I would have advised you to save that transport fare and use it for something beneficial for you, your son and your wife. You, you people in the village think that we in the city block money from trees. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. I, I can't believe this. I can't believe this is coming from you, Stanley. You both know how much I have sacrificed for this family. You know it. <sighs> I should have listened to my wife. My wife wondering that when the time comes for me to get some help from you, and the two of you will behave differently. Exactly. That's the problem. Your wife. She's the witch that has reduced you to this level. You don't dare insult my wife. You don't call her a witch. She has been good to you. Hey, it is, your wife is a witch. And you better accept it. If you do not accept it, then get up and leave my house. Yes. Leave. Jude, tell him to leave my house. You can ask him. Leave. Sit for the exams this year. By God's grace, maybe you can sit for it next year. Son, we are blessed to have a child like him. And I feel deep within me that he is the one that will pull us out of this misery that we have found ourselves in. Receive the hand of God in his life. Oh, that is putting it mildly. That boy will do something else for God. I can feel it. 
Do you know what he said to me yesterday concerning the competition the school registered him for? Mm -mm. What? He said, Mama, you should no longer worry on how to pay my school fees. I am going to win the scholarship. God has told me that. You know, these days, I do not take his words lightly. Because the boy, that boy does not speak like a child of his age. Speaks with plenty of wisdom, far above his reasoning. God has really blessed us. I can tell you, we are blessed. Mm. God has really blessed us, Mom. What is it? Let us stop this, or do you want to make another baby? <laughs> Mom, mm. if our children are going to be such blessings to the world, mm -hmm. then maybe we shall make as many of them as possible. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> uh. Oh, he that trouble the Israel of my destiny, God of Elijah, rise and fight them. Every top man against this family and I catch fire and die in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 They resulted against my destiny, be demolished by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Destiny, aspire and die in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Mama, what happened? Your uncle, your uncle Okori is dead. Hey, hey, hey. Chuku, mama, mama, please, hey, Biko, what? You can't be serious, what? Ha. You mean you cannot hear people screaming? Hey, mama, no, nah, you can't be serious, I don't know. I can hear, but I think... Okori's house is mama. burning, even as we speak. Everything in that house, everything burnt to ashes. Nothing could be... Brought out from the house, everything burnt into ashes, even hey, your mama, uncle. Mama, hey. mama, and not only that, though. not only that. You mean you cannot hear the siren? I can hear. Don't people are hearing because of the football match at home. Hey, they just brought back the body of your cousin. Hey, well, obviously. His fellow area boys killed him in Lagos. Hey, hey. 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 Hmm. Hey! Hmm. 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 So, Mr. 
done it. How are you? Um, the governor has announced you as a winner of the Gold Category Award in the National Youth Intelligence Competition that this school entered. Thank you, sir. Now, that comes with a scholarship that will see you through the rest of your secondary school education and university. Oh, I can't believe this. Thank you, sir. Then he also signed a check said I should present this to your father. So you give it to him. Make sure you give this to your father. It's a check of 500,000 naira. I can't believe this. It's a cash this. prize for the award you have just won. Thank you, Sam. I'm very grateful. Thank God, don't thank you. Okay. Thank you, Father. Thank God. Oh, thank you, Lord. He has done for me. 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 What my father cannot do, he has done for us. What my father cannot do, he has done for us. He has done for us. He has done for us. You don't know what he has done for me. What has he done for you? Wait. <laughs> Everything that life has denied you will now be yours. I will buy and buy until this village asks me to stop. I'm not ready for your jokes. <laughs> Tell me, did you by any chance rob a bank? Ah, no, 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 Momo. Something better happened. Tell me. You will not believe me when I tell you this. I want to hear you. My gratuity has finally been paid. And yeah. guess how much? How much? Three million naira. Hey! <laughs> three thousand. Mm -mm. Momo, no! I said three million naira. Hey! Oh, God! Ah! And with that, we will now move down to the city. We will start a new life, a new business, and I will go back to my schooling. And I cost you so God. much more. Why are you embarrassing me like this? God, this is too much for me now. God, this is too much. Hi! Hey! This is too uh, much. Hey! Momo, Momo. How? What else has happened? Hi! Hey! What else has happened? Hey! Daddy, I tell your father. Daddy, I tell your father. Okay. The Bible says that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. What is this? I won a competition. Huh? And I was also given a scholarship that will carry me throughout any university of my choice, anywhere in the world. And I was also given a check of. Five hundred thousand there. Ah! Oh! Car is this? Ah, it's my son's car. Ikechuku has bought himself a car. Ikechuku? God has been so good to us. Let me get the things from the car. not pay back the money within the stipulated period. Why? We what happened to the money you realized from the sale of my land? Uh, actually, we had some debts we did not tell you about then. So we channeled some of the funds there. 
the remaining part, I thought it wise as a banker to invest in, in the stock market. But unfortunately, the stock market crashed and it affected us badly. As a result, the bank has sacked me. Your bank sucked you? Yes. Why? I was involved in round tripping. Wait, hold on. I'm a little confused here. I am a teacher. You're a banker. Please educate me on what you mean by round tripping. It simply means trading in the foreign exchange with the bank's money in the black market. Something about that sounds illegal. I don't know. You know, it was all to make the money. Even I plan selling my car when I get back to the city. They, are, they foreclosed the hospital. And they threatened that if I do not pay back the money in the next three months, that I'll be heading for prison. Oh. Please, brother, I don't know who, I don't know where else to turn. Please, brother, help us. The world is indeed a strange place. And you know, the wheel of fortune spins round. Sometimes it is good for one person, sometimes it's not. But remember, when it is good for one person, it does not necessarily mean that it will not be good for the other person. I do not wish to revisit the past, because the past is completely painful and you understand what I mean by that. I don't want to say this, but you will recall that I and my son came to your house to ask you to help me with my son's school fees barely a couple of months back. And what did you do? You and Jude threw me out of your house. Brother, please forgive us. It was out of foolishness mm. in our part. Foolishness indeed. Yes, brother. It is the work of the devil. Please, help us then, brother. Please, mama. Please. Brother, I'm sorry. Begin, Whatever they may have done to you, they're your brothers. Forgive them. And if there's any way you can help them, please help them. Please. Papa, can I say something? By all means, say something. My uncles have a good heart. They never meant to harm you. The Bible says that the God of this world has blinded the eyes of people of this world so that seeing they may not see. Hearing, they may not hear, and perceive, they may not understand. I know that that thing that has been clouding their minds has been destroyed. And they will go back to their bad ways. Jesus Christ has set you free from the yoke of sin and bondage. And I've given you a new life. And you both should walk in the liberty of that life. You should accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. If you do, I promise you that all your present problems will become but just a light affliction that will work for you in a greater weight of glory.
Make us pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Heavenly Father, King of God, presents into our life today. We are the King of Kings, the Lord of hosts, the strong tower. Father, we commit the hearts of this my uncle into your heart, hands. May you forgive them their sins. Father, any way they have sinned against you, forgive them. Summer boy, summer boy. 